Good morning from Oxford, Maryland. Today is the last day of racing at the 2018 Star World Championship presented by Maryland Sports Commission. Hi, I'm Ashley Love from T2P TV. And what a difference a passing hurricane makes. Temperatures have dropped almost 30 degrees and the pressure is predicted to build all day. So race committee setting up for races five and six. Race number five is about to be underway and there's a big lefty which has led to a giant pile up down here at the pin. Paul Kerr trying to spin it up right at the last second. That's gonna push him over the line early. Individual recall flag in the air. Almost the entire fleet is on port tack. Seven miles to go, so maybe those mid-fleeters can make it back to the top. It was decided that that big lefty was too much for the fleet to bear. They called them all back, and now 20 plus knots is going to start us for race five. Our third attempt at getting off race five is under a black flag and the center line boat is extremely punched. Gusts over 20. Bow number 18, Derek Dicoteau and Jamie Stewart from Seattle winning the pin. right-hand side. It's a rare event that the right side wins. It's Emilio Papitanistel and Antonis Dostras from Greece. In second place, Arthur Anasov and David Caesar from Gull Lake. George Sabo, a past world champion, in third place. We started sailing stars. I needed a crew, and Brian Kramer said, call this Canadian. So it was a blind date, and he showed up, and been having fun sailing since then. Ah, oh, this fleet's fantastic, you know, get that many boats on a line, everybody's working really hard, and uh, it's been good, a little shifty and a little different with current, but uh, pretty darn good fun. Heavier today, keep the mast up, you know, just tighten the upper shrouds, you know, flatten out the sail as much as you can, and uh, don't let the rig as far forward on the downwind. You just want to keep that boat under control, you'll put the crew back, maybe to lure it a little bit, and, and uh, the jibe's will be entertaining. The top mark is also where some black flag boats will get the bad news. Brazil is deep mid-fleet. Number 18, our port tack, our pin end winners, Derek Coteau and Jamie Stewart, unfortunately with a broken rig. As the pressure goes right, Greece maintains their lead. George Sabo, world champion from 2009, moving into second place. They may be sailing their drop race right now. Second top mark and Greece is still leading. Second place is a bit more a roll of the dice. 
Greece holds on to the lead. Second place shakes out to George Zabo and Roger Shear still in second with Italy moving into third. Diego Negri and Sergio Lambergettini. and tickling at first place. These two are our reigning Bacardi Cup champions. We got the Silver Star back in March in, in Miami. We were very lucky. We had a good week that week. Uh, we were quite well trained since the SSL final in, in Nassau in December. It's now five years, actually, we're sailing together. We had great fun. Well, sailing the star in heavy air is not easy. Uh, must be pay much attention to the runners uh, when, especially on the um, on the bearing, on the top mark when you bear off, and in just a matter of techniques. We're not often sailing strong breeze, but today, today I think we can make it. The, the weather is expected to to drop a bit, and so we look forward to that. Representing the Yacht Club San Remo, Diego Negri and Ser Sergio Lembertengi pulled away on every wave to win the race. Greece will cross the line in second with bow 61, George Sabo and Roger Cheer in third. The final race, start six, is about to begin, and here is the story. The factor. The drop has been factored in. Norway is back in the top three. Paul Kayard and Brazil Zarif just sailed their drop, eight points separating them. Ooh, Bow 57 thought they could make it there. That's Jorgen Schoner and Yanni Ligravad from Denmark. the first leg and the first shift was a lefty. Good news for Denmark if they can win that protest. First top mark and our lead boat was actually black flagged last race, but he's making up for it here. Thomas Hornos and Pedro Trouch from Boston. And in second place, Norway making up some valuable points on the fleet. And in third place, Eric Doyle, a world champion from 1999 and our reigning North American champions. Our regatta leader, Zarif and Delamita, sitting in seventh place right now. Kayard about four boats behind. Coming into the bottom mark, and Hornos and Trouch are still in the lead. Bow 23, Norway still in second, and Eric Doyle in third. Zarif and Delamita move into fourth place. As long as they stay ahead of Kayard, the math will be easy. Second top mark, only one leg to go, and 
One, two, has it changed with Norway in second. Sitting in fourth place currently, Brazil. Zarif and Delamita keeping Paul Kayard close at bay behind. The last downwind leg for Team Brazil is pretty much a victory leg. Thomas Hornos and Pedro Trouch cross first. Ivan Melaby and Joshua Revkin in second. But our world champions are the Brazilians. Jorge Zarif and his crew, Guillermo Delmira. Uh, to introduce myself, I think the best uh, way to, to introduce is that I, I became a Star Sailor when I was 14 years old with his father that passed away 11 to 12 years from now. And I think today we had uh, such a good moment for this guy, uh, George Zarif as well. So uh, I, this is championship is for, for him and for this young boy that I appreciate a lot to stay with. It was amazing. It's the second time I sail with Guilherme. As he said, he started sailing the boat with my father. And when I was a kid, I have a photo in, in, at my house that I am like four years old and uh, I am in the star with Guilherme and my father. So it's uh, amazing to, to have the opportunity to win a world championship with him and uh, it couldn't be more special. Oh, no. The newest star champions will be honored at the awards ceremony tonight at the Trede Van Yacht Club, along with many others, including the first place boat in each age division and the first local boat. Congratulations to all of the winners. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love.